Hello and welcome to 3D Print UK's guide to how layer lines can affect wall strengths. So here we're using just the old Lego. Now if you imagine each of the studs represents one millimeter, this wall that I'm building currently now is going to represent uh, the equivalent of our minimum wall thickness. Now our minimum wall thickness is there because you can print it but it doesn't mean to say that it's strong. So as you can see here pushing force down and across it, not across the laminates but with the laminates you have a fair bit of strength but as soon as you push from the side snap there you go not that great so uh, is an example of a part that was using the minimum wall thickness and as you can see where the layer lines go across it it has actually failed quite badly uh, this generally happens on the seam of, of where there is a flat on the X and Y plane as well now to sort of combat this it's very very simple thicker blocks, thicker walls. So this is now the equivalent of a you know a two millimeter thick wall. Um, this very very simple solution is is probably the best way to do it. Um, there you go, same strength up and down but from the side it loads more. Now with our pricing structure uh, it doesn't really make much difference how thick your walls are uh, because we do swept volume so you can thicken up your walls absolutely free of charge. Hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.